Here with RT, live from Moscow, the hearing in the case of Bradley Manning, the jailed U.S. soldier accused of leaking vast amounts of data to WikiLeaks, begins today. The 24-year-old jailed now for two years faces the serious charge of aiding the enemy, which if proven could see him on death row. Well, more now on the alleged whistleblower's plight with Brigitte Young's daughter, member of the Icelandic parliament and a campaigner to n nominate Manning for the Nobel Peace Prize. Thanks for being with us. Uh, Manning's lawyers claim he's being treated worse than a convicted terrorist. Are his alleged crimes really comparable? Absolutely not. Uh, we have to remember that blowing the whistle on war crimes is not a crime. Uh, and... Uh, what he has been accused of uh, is everything but uh, a crime. He is accused of blowing the whistle on very serious uh, crimes within the military establishment. Uh, and I think uh, the conditions he has been kept under, uh, in particular the first year in Quantico, are beyond what people would think of uh, in relation to uh, a whistleblower, despite the fact that he was in the military. Um, and uh, it was only because of uh, direct actions uh, and uh, actions of people that um, led to the attention being drawn to the fact that Bradley Manning was uh, kept under torture conditions for a whole year. Uh, and unfortunately, one of these actions revealed that the President Obama, even if the pre-trials or the trials hadn't even started, uh, said on camera that he thought that Bradley Manning was guilty. So Bradley Manning is never going to get a fair trial under normal circumstances in the United States justice system. Um, and so I think it is extremely important that people will make themselves aware of uh, his situation uh, and what he stands accused of. Uh, still, a lot of people do consider and call Manning a traitor that he threatened uh, national security in the States. Why does your group think that he deserves the Nobel Peace Prize? Well, by uh, giving people access to information, uh, in particularly information about the true horror of war, uh, we feel that uh, his, what he stands accused of has contributed to um, uh, more discussions about the importance of access to the information that should rightfully remain in the public domain, uh, and it speeded up uh, the process of the um, pull, pull out of the uh, war in Iraq, and hopefully uh, it will have some impact in Afghanistan. I know I am actually serving on the NATO Parliamentary Assembly, uh, and uh, I have uh, pushed very much for that the assembly, some of the committees there, would uh, create a report based on the Afghan war logs. And to my great delight, I have heard that uh, a report uh, based on the war logs, uh, on the Afghan war logs, has actually been conducted, and it is considered to be one of the best reports on the situation in Afghanistan that has been done uh, in the NATO parliamentary assembly. Uh, do you think cases such as Bradley Manning's and Julian Assange will discourage future whistleblowers or just fuel public interest uh, in the disclosure of government secrets? I think it's obvious that the government is trying to make uh, uh, a sort of a, a scare tactic case uh, on Bradley Manning to scare people from uh, blowing the whistle. Uh, and, uh, of course, the crackdown on WikiLeaks as well is supposed to scare people off. Uh, but what is actually done uh, is it's had the reverse impact. There is now more discussion about whistleblowers and uh, the importance of whistleblowing uh, all over the world. Uh, and uh, because we haven't had a discussion about this since Daniel Ellsberg, the importance of whistleblowing. Uh, and as the world is becoming more and more shredded in secrecy, where, of course, corruption thrives. Um, I think uh, this is sparked, and I don't think it, I've seen it, that it has sparked a tremendous overflow of information. It is so much that uh, it's actually difficult to process all of it. But it has actually put whistleblowing into a positive light in our world, and I think that is uh, extremely important at this uh, time and age. All right, thank you. Birgitta Jon's daughter, member of the Icelandic Parliament and a campaigner to nominate Bradley Manning for the Nobel Peace Prize. Thank you. Thank you very much.